The second age mini countryman appeared at the 2016 Los Angeles Auto Show. Notwithstanding the standard and S models, Mini included another E Countryman module mixture show. That is the thing that we have here, making our models full name the Mini Cooper S E Countryman All 4. It's discernible from different models by the green identifications on the front and rays and on the charging port on the bumper. There are a couple of changes inside, most prominently a power check setup of the tachometer. The module show consolidates a turbo inline three-chamber motor with a 7.6 kWh lithium particle battery pack. The gas motor inspires the front wheels while two electric engines control the back. Three drive modes, Maxi Drive, Auto E Drive and Save, modify the measure of battery pack use, with Max utilizing all battery and save mode utilizing the starter generator to keep the battery charge over 90%. The greatest mini, for what that is worth is still far littler than almost every other hybrid in its class. It's 3 inches shorter than a Mercedes-Benz GLA class and 4 inches short of an Audi Q3. As minimized as it may be, there's as yet a decent piece of usable load space because of the wide incubate and level collapsing seats. Our analyzer rang up for precisely $40,000 and incorporates highlights like 18-inch wheels, keyless passage and start, Cooper S warmed game seats, a heads-up show and LED lighting. Editorial Manager and Chief Greg Migliori, the main thing I don't care for about this Zapt Mini is its name, Mini Cooper SE Countryman All 4. That is a sizable chunk. You'd most likely simply say you purchased a module electric Mini Countryman and move from that point. What's more, for what reason would you invest energy overthinking the name? The driving progression are well sharp and sharp. Dispatches from stoplights with the electric fortress are energetic. Not in an old hat this V6 Camry feels lively kind of route, however in a 29 degree February morning where the pooch is strolling to moderate sort of way. I give Mini and its parent, BMW Group, a great deal of credit for having the premonition to put resources into charge, including execution and productivity in a way that is consistent with the character of Mini. At that point there's the conventional Mini goodness that radiates through in the cornering and taking care of. I'm late for work. The light turns yellow. Am I ceasing? Gracious damnation no. I'm not notwithstanding backing off. In this and all minis, taking corners at full steam is normal. I flick my wrists, dial in a direct measure of info and hang a left. We'll say the light was orange by then. Talking about hues, this countryman looks savvy in dark paint with bunches of bright work. I utilize the British forms for shading and chrome, since this is a mini. Within is respectable, with better shading, trim and materials than minis had even 5 years prior. All things considered, for $40,000, the inside ought to have more cowhide or a common disco cart hybrid feel premium. Alright I lied, the cost is the main other thing I don't care for about the module countryman. It's a psychological exercise to excuse the cost for something this modest. Smaller than usual supporters have effectively cleared that obstacle, however for a fan without any loyalties to many, that grandiose sticker, even with the zap, would influence me to think about different alternatives. Setting aside those reasonable musings, it was all grins for me in the driver's seat of the module countryman. Relate editor Reese counts, I've generally delighted in many's, even the not really small ones. I like the beguiling styling and the general jazz each model appears to have. I'm somewhat disillusioned by the size crawl with each progressive age, however that is valid for almost every auto available. The Countryman still feels smaller and deft, and that is the thing that I truly need from a Mini. The greatest contrast amongst old and new is the refinement, presumably owing a ton to the BMW X1 underpinnings. It's speedy, as well. The battery pack may include some weight, however it's counterbalanced by abundant measures of low-end torque. Indeed, even in the wet. The Countryman moved truly well. The joints 221 pull and 284 pound-feet of torque give a lot of oomph. The gas three-pot goes ahead smooth, however there's incidental shiver in the wake of sponsorship off the throttle as the motor tries to adjust itself. The brakes feel fine, however Mini still needs to chip away at the low-speed refinement from the Reagan framework. The inside is much better than the last Countryman. I'm happy that the speedometer has at long last moved behind the guiding wheel instead of the inside, however the heads up show implied I never truly took a gander at it. Like any Mini, there's a lot of inside and freight space given the audio's impression.